Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have. Hey yo, man, we got um uh, we got Bam Man Kevo, man. You know what I'm saying? Talking about why he threw out his wife. You see what I'm saying? Master P demanding a stop to the fake love, man. We also got trouble with a strong message, man. CJ explaining why he left Warner Bros. after the hit whoopty. And uh we got 50 Cent on um uh what, what's 50 talking about? Oh, you talking about Chris Rock and we got Kodak Black on Jada again. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. If this is your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button and feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. That notification bell's waiting for your tasks to go on and give it a touch, man. And that subscribe button's waiting for your subscription, man, so go on and touch that too. Hey, yo, check this out, man. My boy crowned me November. You see what I'm saying? Oh, Key said what up, man. Uh, Crown Me November came through, man. He dropped a hot track for me. You see what I'm saying? And I was like, yo, man, um, uh, yo, this is kind of tight. Matter of fact, take a listen real quick to what I heard real quick. Take a listen real quick. Life took a toll. I'm back on my mode. I'm back for the profit. Yeah, yeah. Don't care for the pressure, the storm, or weather. I got it together. Yeah, yeah. You thought I was done? Yeah, yeah. You still in my dick? Yeah, yeah. Life took a toll. I'm back on my mode. I'm back for the profit. I'm back for the bank. I was on go and out of control. Just blowing through gas. I needed a break. Put down the gram. I put down the snap. Money, the only thing standing my way. If it Money, you buzzing about honey. I see that you fly, but get on my face. I'm in my bag, so I'm by the bag. Put myself first, watch how long I'ma last. Remember the days when I couldn't record, it was killing my soul. I needed fresh blood. Niggas was capping, he said I was slacking. I fell off the grid for a couple of months. So came my duty, I'm slapping like Uzi, cause now I came back and I do what I want. Instead of looking for a heart, bet you why I hit a vein. I got the power and even more fire to fuck around, change your bitch DNA. You see what I'm saying? Now, after I heard that, right, it gave me an idea, okay? Um, uh, hopefully Sauce is going to post, uh, look, look, I went on to the Instagram, right? That's celebs.sauce, right? S-A-U-C-E, right? Celebs Sauce, the Insta, okay? And I posted the weekend beat over there. Here's what I might need you to do. You know what I'm saying? Just if you got nothing else to do, you know what I mean? If you're a lyricist, right? And you drop rhymes. We got the beat over there, and hopefully I could, I could post the beat in the description over here, man. I need you to bust a verse on that weekend beat and send it to me. You see what I'm saying? Bust a, like, you know what I'm saying? Drop something hot on the weekend beat and send it to your boy celeb. I want to try something out. You see what I'm saying? Man, um, uh, look, it will be greatly appreciated. You know what I mean? But please, only send me something hot, man. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes we get a lot of submissions, so don't be mad if we don't post your joint. You know what I mean? Um, uh, ladies, I'm gonna need y'all to, you know what I'm saying, be on deck as well. You know what I'm saying? Y'all definitely not exempt. Because last time, you know what I mean? We know what happened when the ladies came in. Okay? Uh, check this out, man. Bam Man Kevo has decided to explain what happened involving his lady and seed being thrown out of the Crizzo. Hey, yo, take a listen. It's like, okay, I'm gonna get you your nice hotel. I'm gonna stay in a nice hotel. My crib got ready. Boom. I'm in my crib. I'm steady telling her, you know what I mean? Like, like where you want to stay she can't make up her mind of exactly what she want to do or what she want to stay because she still can't um take in the fact that i want to stay by myself she don't like that she like you just want your own home because you want to have holes and you want to do this how come i can't stay with you that's not fair and all this type of weird shit. i'm just like bro i'm a loner you know what i mean i'm very clean i'm very organized i'm very disciplined sometimes as a female females uh tend to be more careless on the cleaning side or careless about this or or I might be trying to work and my baby crying and the, the condo is too small. I feel like if I get you a house or something like that, I can come over anytime. You know what I mean? And it'd be better, trust me. Like you get what you want, but she didn't want that. She felt like I want to stay with you. Why can't we just stay with you? So she turned it down crib. She's not able to get crib. She's not able to do this. I don't know why, but I'm just like, okay, cool. I'll make it. Yo, ladies, what y'all think on that so far, man? <laughs> now, the man also said that he bought her a house in Texas, but it was under his stage name. And she felt some type of way about that because, you know, she felt like he could throw her out at any time. Now, why would she possibly think that? Now, you think that's something. Take a listen to this. And so understand when dime wants money she gets money no cap i might she be like i might send her 500 i might send her a thousand i might send her two thousand three thousand dime has thousands of dollars worth of bags four five thousand dollar bags she goes out to eat every single day that adds up to thousands of dollars a day uber eats is not cheap dime don't cook don't clean you understand what i'm saying i'm not that type of person to put her out like this but when a girl don't cook don't clean and then I have to hire maids all the time. And then you and you become careless with things. If you're very careless, like, well, I might say, damn, the dog just shitty. You gonna pick it up? Oh, I just seen that. I'll get it. Like that that irritates me. 
Or if I see my baby crying too much. Oh, hell no. Look, dog crap in the house and you stepping over the joint. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy right there, man. Yeah, I mean, that's a, almost a deal breaker. That's a deal breaker for me, damn near. Yeah, I mean. Now, uh, Bear Man explained how women are really going through it, and his wife should have appreciated all that he's done for her. Hey, yo, take one more listen. Take a listen. You know what I mean? You don't get treated for a certain way like this for a reason. The whole marriage thing, right? That was a whole favor. That was a favor to help her look good in her situation that I'm going to tell you about. You know what I mean? But it was a favor for her because she was going through something with, you know, somebody else she was dealing with. And I said, she was like, well, can you just do this? And then when we do this, you can just go ahead and do this. I'm like, all right, cool. For a favor, out of respect for her. You get what I mean? Because if, if I really wanted to marry you, where the hell is your wedding ring? You see that, man? He did her a favor. Did he not do her a favor? <laughs> Look, some folks are just ungrateful. Um, uh, look, I feel, I feel bad. I feel bad for folks out here. Anyway, look, uh, Master P, the OG Master P, demands that folks stop showing fake love to Nipsey Hussle. The OG stated uh, to Hip Hop DX, he said, "Quote: I just think in our culture, it's just natural that people just self hate. They don't want to see somebody else make it until they're gone. You don't want to tell somebody they're great while they're alive." That's the thing that I just couldn't understand about Nipsey is that he was talented. He put the same record that sold millions of copies. Only so it only sold 50,000 when he was alive and he couldn't get it. He was like, man, I put my all into this project. He was like, boss, I did it. This is it. And then when it didn't happen and just watching the people, this guy don't know that his funeral was at the Staples Center. He didn't know that he had that type of love. Let's be honest. He was still in Inglewood and Crenshaw trying to figure it out. Close quote. That's a huge statement right there, man. You know what I'm saying? If, if you really think about what he's saying. See, that's what I respect about Master P. The man has wisdom. He's essentially saying, don't break out the flowers all of a sudden after the fact. You see what I'm saying, man? That's real ish right there, man. You know what I mean? Sometimes, like, I feel like folks don't want to, you know what I'm saying, to see others come up because it reveals how much we ourselves might not be doing you follow what i'm saying man it's like when someone come out in, in, in a super crisp outfit and you suddenly realize that what you got on is low-key trash you follow what i'm saying man i mean I, I don't know i don't i don't i don't like the way that that sounds man you know what i mean like you know all of a sudden now everybody want to come out the woodwork talking about nips it's odd because i didn't really hear too much about nipsey until after he died you know what i'm saying which says a whole lot man folks can't like you got to think about it like this, man. When people die, man, they don't, I don't believe they, they really know full well, like what's going on on earth. You know what I'm saying? So all the love you suddenly want to show on earth, miss me with that, okay? Because I'm not really like, it don't really matter after I, like to, if I die today, don't know, like I do, no, I no longer care about what you think about Celeb Sauce after I die. You follow what I'm saying, man? I mean, come on, man. Like, like, <laughs> like, what? Well, when you die, right? Let's say you own a business. I don't tell you this before. If you own a business and you died, you think you're going to be in heaven asking asking the Lord about, well, yo, did they open the store today? You know what I'm saying? Did, did we sell all the product that we needed to sell for the day? When you're in heaven, you ain't thinking about that. You know what I'm saying? And if you ha and you're in hell, you definitely ain't thinking about that. I, I don't know. It's just a thought. To think. Anyway, look, the artist Trouble has shared that your favorite artist, Takashi 69 is running around New York declaring himself the king of New York. Look, hey, you ever notice they always declare themselves the king? You ever notice that? They never wait for other folks to declare. It. Anyway, upon hearing the news, Trouble came out and stated, quote, he's doing, he said, he said, the boy, the way the rap boy running around in New York show you ninjas ain't standing on ish no more. Shaking my head. No type of integrity. All these ninjas can be bought. Close quote. What is Trouble suggesting? Look, look, he calls 6 9 rap boy, but a bunch of them snitch on themselves and they homies anyway, don't they? Like, like, I know 6 9 ain't the only one that's that's running around snitching, man. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what I personally learned about people that are in trouble? No, no pun intended, right? But they all hate snitches until you get them in a room and they facing some serious ish. And all of a sudden, all kinds of information starts pouring out of their face. You'll be surprised who starts talking. I'm talking straight gangsters will start singing 
lo- all kinds of lullabies. You know what I'm saying? Straight gangsters that will pull a pistol on you in a heartbeat, but will sing to get out of Saturday school detention. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, if, if New York heard what Trouble said and was like, you know what? He's right. And we're going to do something about it. I'd have to ask the question, who made you think that exactly? And your answer would speak volumes. Are you following my drift, man? Let me do my shout outs real quick, man. Um, uh, Yeah, let me do it. What's my time looking like over here, man? Seven, all right, let, let me do my shout outs real quick, man. Uh, Who we got on deck today? Um, oh, 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 by the way, man, shout out to Gilbert, Gilbert Godfrey, man. The man has died at the age of 67. You're like, wait a minute. Um, why are you letting him know this now? I, I, I mean, he doesn't really cross my mind, but he, he did give us loads of entertainment, man. Well, you know what I'm saying? The man died at the age of 67. Um, his family released a statement saying that we're heartbroken to announce the passing of the beloved Gilbert Godfrey after a long illness. Um, in addition to the being the most iconic voice in comedy, Gilbert was a wonderful husband, brother, friend, and father to his young children. Although today is a sad day for all of us, please keep laughing as loud as possible in Gilbert's honor. Okay. Um, apparently, he died from heart abnormality called ventricular tachycardia due to myotonic dystroph- dystrophia type 2. You know what I'm saying? Hearts and prayers go out to his family, man. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Um... Uh, Hey, yo, shout out to Cephas, man. Cephas came through and said, yo, you basically want a new Australia fan. You know what I'm saying? Transporting criminals to an island. It, I found that to be a, a pretty interesting statement. Matter of fact, somebody else came through and said the same thing, man. They was like, uh, it was Super Gaza. Super Gaza said, celeb, <laughs> you wanting to send all these criminal drill artists that murder to the island? That's what we call the jail over here in New York. It's literally an island. So this is ironic as F. I don't even think you know it yet. I, I'm, I'm over here like, is he talking about Rikers? I think he's talking about Rikers. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't even think of that when I was saying it. But now that I think about it, like, whatever, man. Send them all to an island so that they can all be. And then I guess, I guess that, is that Rikers? I guess that's Rikers. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, who else we got over here, man? Uh, Karinja. Karinja said, yo, celeb, your proper English accent voice impersonation was on point and funny as cuff. Thank you. Uh, your energy in general is one of the reasons I watch. Another is that you truly present celebrity views without getting all gossipy, like plenty of these other cats out here, man. Keep up the great work, bro. Yo, man, we appreciate that, man. Real talk. Um, Queen Mo Fire came through, so yo, you definitely made a valid point when expressing natural gifts and our aims or callings for some. My calling slash mission had nothing to do with my natural gifts. I'm super grateful that I was able to find a way to make my gifts work for my calling in life correlating uh the two has been the most beneficial all the way around man shout out to uh queen mo fire and um uh who you got who who else got okay rav car came through and said yo man i'm trying to figure out if i'm the only person from my city uh charleston south carolina that's subscribed to your channel bro i'm gonna see how many of my homies and family is and if they're not i'll get them too man look look for any charleston south carolina subs from tonight from tonight hey yo man shout out to uh charleston south carolina man you know what i'm saying real talk man holding us down we do we definitely appreciate that if you're from charleston south carolina man let us know where you're from matter of fact you can let us know where you're from in the comment section we definitely appreciate that too man and lastly um who we at over here man oh kenneth cole all right, for those of y'all that are new subs out here, I always said, man, Kenneth Cole, he always be thinking, when he posts stuff in the comment section, man, a lot of times that's the, the same thing I be thinking, he posted. So I just call him the face. See, Kenneth Cole is the, you want a face for Celeb Sauce? Man, just look to Kenneth Cole, man. He is the face. He said, yo, I'm curious, Celeb. When you interact with the folks around you, Celeb, do they see my face? I'm like, I, I guess so. They have to, right? I mean, we think alike. You know what I'm saying? Think about all the people you saw today, Kenneth. <sighs> anyway, let's get right back to it, man. Wrap this bad boy up for today, man. I'm, um, I love it. Remember that song, Whoopty? <laughs> you like, oh, yeah, I remember that joint. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I thought the beat was sick, too. The beat. Anyway, you ever wonder why you never heard anything else from that dude? Uh, apparently, right? CJ sat down with Vlad TV, and that exact question was asked. His response was, quote, I only had one song at the time when I signed with uh, Warner Brothers, okay? Um, I only had Whoopty, and that was their main focus. Obviously, what label wouldn't want another Whoopty? So they were looking for that and a Whoopty record. It, it comes once in a lifetime or once in a career. We started off with Whoopty, and we tried to develop and we tried to develop me as an artist. We had our differences with the label, and we decided to part ways. I'm gonna leave it at that. Close quote. And I guess that's that. You know what I'm saying? That's why you never heard another Whoopty song, man. I ain't go front. I kind of like the song, man. You know what I'm saying? I like the way it sounded, man. The content I don't really care for. 
Um, uh, now look, as you already know, the game has a new album called Dramatic that should be coming out, right? He stated that Kanye did more for him than Dre, which caught a lot of folks by surprise. But the game was like, let me slam this domino on the table, right? And he recently stated that 50 Cent, 50 did not put him on. Hey, yo, take a listen. 50 was talking about we beefing with these niggas. I like, like, lo and behold, I was in a group with those niggas, but I wasn't breaking peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in half with G-Unit. I ain't see them niggas in, until it was time to work. So I didn't grow up. Like, I, like, I grew up to Fat Joe, like on Fat Joe Music, on Pun, on Terror Squad, Cuban Link. Like, I was locked in. Them niggas, like, that shit when I was listening, when I first started smoking weed, it was the Cuban Link's album, bro. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? So, so it was, I was confused because I thought like I was supposed to be loyal to, to like where my heart was and my heart wasn't like a lot of people like, oh, you nigga 50 put you on. No 50 did not put me on, bro. People don't understand that at that time in LA, I was, I was it. I was the nigga. So that's why Jimmy took me and told 50 he was putting me in G unit and 50 accepted because nigga, my name was ringing bells. Now, I guess we got to see if 50 has anything to say on that. Um, I, I tell you what 50 does have something to say about uh, He heard that Chris Rock said that he was not Talking about the slap Until he gets paid paid And 50 responded by saying Quote This about to be the most expensive slap You ever seen in your life Chris Rock did the right thing Not bringing law enforcement into it hey, Yo that's real talk right there man. You know what I'm saying um, uh, Shout out to Chris Rock for not bringing law enforcement into it Cause he could've but he didn't. Law, law enforcement sounded like they were eager to do something. And Chris seemed was like Chris was like, nah, nah, we good on that. You know what I'm saying? And finally. Check this out, man. We reported to you uh, a few days ago, right? That Kodak Black was looking for um, a slipper to, to, to hand over to Will Smith to pop Willow after after that letter to Pac resurfaced. Now Kodak has a few words for Jada Pinkett. Hey yo, take a listen. Jada Pinkett, baby, you was out of pocket. You out of pocket for that shit. Come fuck with me. That's what you need to do. Cause that shit, that shit you doing, that shit you doing ain't real, bro. That shit you doing ain't real, bro. Z shit, bro. You got a nigga who love you. All kind of shit fucked up about you, man. With you all the years. Come fuck with Kodak. That's what you need to do. Cause you, uh. You just, you just, you just on some bullshit. You just on some bullshit. You don't deserve Will Smith. You deserve yet. Mm hmm. You deserve me. You deserve me. Tell my, I be at yeah, that real thug life. I mean, long live that boy Tupac. God bless his soul. But you know, shit. Tupac went all the way. I know, I know, I know, I know. I look, look I got you. My my yak later is working today. Now, um, uh, uh, yak said, according to my yak later, he said, "Quote, Jada Pinkett, you was out of pocket with that ish. Come f with me. That's what you need to do because that ish, <laughs> that ish you done, it ain't real. You got a ninja who love you all those years. Come cuff with Kodak." That's what you need to do. You want some bullish. You don't deserve Will Smith. You deserve Yak. Stop playing with Will Smith like that. Will Smith a stand-up ninja. Close quote. See, at first, right? I was like, man, Kodak ain't making any sense. What's he saying? But then it hit me. Because, you know, your boy celeb is slow on a draw sometimes. He essentially said, she don't need a good man like Will Smith. She deserves a bad one like me. He said, stop playing with Will Smith like that. Will Smith, a stand-up ninja. Uh, 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 stand-up man. See that? He, he, he corrected him. He adjusted it. He, he adjusted it from ninja to man. He said, he's a stand-up man, homie. A gentleman with integrity. He knows who he is. Cuff you talking about. Listen, you know what scares me about this whole thing, man? The only one, right, that knows Will's deepest, darkest secret is Jada. So there's a possibility, right, that she might be holding on to some information that might make people go ballistic. Look, look, all I'm saying is this, man. When the two were on the red table, 
that, that sounds crazy. Let me let me bring it back. When Will and Jada discussed the entanglement at the red table, right? There was, and their conversation um, turned to get back or something like that. This is what was said. So do we got that get back clip on deck? You know, I don't want to go through this no more. Yeah, no, I don't yeah. either. Yeah. I'm going to get you back first. And then you gonna get me back. I think you've gotten me back. <laughs> I think you. <laughs> I think we're good on that. Okay. <laughs> okay, that might. That's probably true. That's you know, true. but um, and I don't think it's about getting anybody back. No, for me it is. Okay, um, I'll give you that petty. <laughs> if that's what you want. <laughs> uh, um, but you know, I will definitely say mm-hmm. it's just part of it. Yeah. You know, if you expect to be with somebody for a lifetime. 25 years and counting. Mm. We ride together. We we die die together. together. Bad Bad marriage marriage for for life. life. (laughs) 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 That's terrible. It's the truth. (laughs) It's the truth. (laughs) You see that, man? See, there's a lot more to the story, man, that we don't have. And quite frankly, we really don't need to have and you let us know your thoughts in the comments below man um uh does jada deserve kodak black <laughs> you know what i'm saying when when women do, i'm not look when women you know what i'm saying do things that they shouldn't do right i don't know what you want to say if they belong to the streets whatever should they're like should they get at that point a kodak black ladies do y'all need to be referred Whenever you do wrong to the super gremlin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yo, yo, why would I think of Kodak Black? This, then I think of super gremlin. Then I think of Stripe. So, do we got a picture of Stripe on deck, man? Hey, yo, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Your source for celeb news.